Okay, here's our first piece of rosewood. Came out nice. We got a little tiny split here that will glue back and you will not be able to see it. It's going to be just about impossible to take this out without doing tiny bits of damage. We're going to be very careful though. This, we'll probably have to take this one out first and then this curved one, maybe. They used a lot of glue to glue this in. Oh, we'll go nice and slow and carefully and remove all these beadings and then we can focus on the next thing before taking this plate out. These corners are tricky. Coming off though. Maybe go from the other side now. Over here. We can replace the wood underneath these. these. Yeah, it's just fine over there. Piece of pine. We got time. When it went in too far. Don't break the chisel. Too deep. So delicate. Come on. Uh, Coming, there it goes. See the varnish. Whoops. Oh well. Glue, put it back together. There we go. There we go. That's important. We got the piece. We glue it all together. That's what held it in there so well to begin with. Is just, the same glue back. we're going to use. And this is only white pine back here. It's strange that they would put a white pine finger on the edge like that. This piece is loose too. I noticed that. Wiggles. Or wiggles around. I'll try this one. Soon. Okay. Do the other one too. Here's the long side molding and this one is just flying off. The other ones were very stubborn. This is nice. Long piece of rosewood. To this thing here. That's good. This one it also has a sub substrate to it, if you want to call it, this piece of wood in here. Piece of pine under the molding. We got gaps over there. Hmm. Didn't even have pieces there. Here's the 
aftermath of taking off the molding this one is the most damaged that will go back together though we have all the little slivers over here is a little odd there's no wood underneath where the molding was So now we can move on to the sides of the case, this side and the other side. I think we're going to do that one first. So we'll see if we can get that top veneer off and then see what's under there. Okay, with a little bit of magic, here is our nice rosewood cap. Freshly unglued. This may go back. Sometimes they shrink too much and it wouldn't fit. We will see. That came off very nice. It'll probably go right back. And here we have our piece that we need to remove to get the plate out. You can see, if you can see, there's a piece here. There's a large piece here, which is, oh, well, it's a little chunk. So that'll probably come out to get this stretcher out. There's going to be some serious surgery on this piano. I think the next thing to go after is... I guess this large piece here. This little block will probably come out. Because the top of this needs to come off to get the plate out. It's a big puzzle. But this is good. Step one. We'll set up to remove that and come back when we've made some progress. We decided to slice this board in half just above the plate, or just to the side of the plate. And that will let the plate come out. bit of wood left. The saw blade didn't reach down that far. That's a piece of metal. That's, that's iron. Hmm. Some kind of pin. We'll see. So far so good. You can see the color. We the saved the, we saved the, we unglued the veneer that was here. I guess you got that already. The color? On the plate? Oh yeah. It was a clean plate. Clean plate. It was a dirty plate. It's like brand new color. Very nice. Now this piece is glued on here, huh? This piece here. It's separate. It's just glued on. We'll be able to put that together perfectly using that piece. Yep, there. Okay. That's good. Here's this left side. This was cut off. This was in here. That will glue right back. This might need a tiny bit of shaving. This should lift out now with no problem. And over here we performed some magic, took the veneer off, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. This is going to be a very long cut. We're going to do the same thing. About here, we'll measure, because these uh, struts are all the same thickness, so this goes to about here. We're just going to cut this board all the way to here, and hopefully we can get it out in one piece without damaging anything else.
knife, maybe? Is this? Maybe. Might be able to slice a little bit of wood that's left in there. There, there we go. I saw it both move out down the bottom down there. There we have it. Pretty cool. The wedge went in between things. the flange under here. It goes all the way up to the inner lining, up to here. Darn. Okay. Unfortunately, there's a flange on the other side of this strut in there. So we're just going to take this whole, the rest of this board off. And we have wood to replace it from antique salvaged pianos. So that's no problem. We saved the important part. This side does not have a flange. Can't really see, but there's no flange in there. So this is going to get chopped out, this oak remaining wood. And that should allow us to get at this, the screw under here. It'll help get this whole pin block thing off. I think that's going to have to happen to get at these. That's coming soon. Shocking. That's what I heard. But this is shocking. But this is what we have to do. This is what we got to do to get this plate out of here. We got that flange in back here. The plate has to come straight up. If it wasn't for these nose bolts here, we could probably tilt it sideways and lift it out, but we can't. So it's got to come straight out, and the most important part is that we save this. That goes there. We save the whole thing intact, and we have the cap veneers also. And when we uh, dig our old wood supply out, and replace this with almost identical wood from American-made pianos. You won't see it. So there we have it. Surgery. This pin is loose. Managed to grab it. Big nail or something. Big square now. That'll help get that out. See what we have to do next. Here's this front lock. These two screws were nipped off at the end. They were too long. It's a little odd. This was never out of here. It's like perfect. A little felt. Okay, come to find out, this side does have a flange. Very hard to see, but there's three big screws in there, way in there. So we're going to cut this, cut this, save this, nice rosewood curve here. Chop all this out. That will be replaced with nice old wood. And then we can get at this plate on in this spot. And then we have to tackle this top part next. Here's the other side. I had a pocket in this board for the strut here. And then there's another slot further in for the ear down there of the plate that sticks out. So we're trying to get at that. There's screws in there. And those have to come out. They glued this board in after the plate was in, obviously. These have... 
the wrong side. These have gold on them from the plate when they painted the plate. Tiny bits of gold. Bronze powder. Okay. Finally chopped all this oak out. bare, looks like bare cast iron, they didn't even paint it down there. I got three big screws. I got a little corner there. Hit my chisel on that a few times. Square thing is part of the plate. I think we have clearance on this side now. Now we have to go after we have to think of a way to get these out. Do you think we're going to take this whole top off? Cleared away all the dust here. You can see there's a big space between the case wall and the pin block and the plate. You can see space through there. So this whole side should lift out straight up once we get the plate off. Or once we get the screws out of the plate, this whole thing might come out as a unit attached to the plate. This little block might need to come off. That's no big problem. Space here too. That's not doweled in or anything in there. And there's a space here too can't see it right now, but this is not seriously attached. It might break loose. <coughs> so we'll see. I'll take out all these screws and we'll come back. These screws are covered in plaster Paris, maybe. One more little annoying thing. They're all very loose. They've never been tightened. This one's a little too big. Little screws. Look at that screw head. They left that in. Hmm. Wow. Chewed up. Got different sizes over here. I think this is the only one in the pin block that holds it to the case. There's not one over there. Slightly longer one goes here. Two short ones go in there in case we forget. We're gonna label those. Now we have to take these off without damaging them. Some of these are very tight. Some of them are very loose. Put a wrench on the shank and turn the shank down, down below sometime. If, if you skid with that, could be troubles. Okay, wrap this leather around these, only so, to protect them. And these all came off, these are all loose, they come off. 
Now we have to go after these. Make a special tool maybe to take those out. Here's attempt number two to take this little nut out. Castle nut. This works. Okay, that's uh we'll try again. It's a little difficult because these grooves here are not the same size. This one's got a lot of space to put a pin in. This one is very close to the hitch pin. It's like half ground out. It's not fully ground. This one's kind of the same way. It's funky things. So we'll make a better tool to take this out. I saw it move. So, if we had a little punch, it might move, but gently. Boy, close quarters on this one. Pretty stubborn. You know, it's been there how long? 140 years ago? Something like that. Could put some oil on there, I guess. Oh, three more. Rather crudely drilled, huh? Like, you know, it was an afterthought. Why didn't they just put a flat side on there? I don't know. Oh, well, here's another one. We need an adjustable spanner wrench. And we don't have one of those. Or different sizes. Okay, these ones were a little looser. Just put a nail in one hole and then tapped it with a block with a little hammer and it just spun around. So that's good. These will go right back. And now, I think that's it. Now we can see if we can move the plate and see what happens. Okay, we have one more screw on this side under here in the pin block. That's what it seems. <clears throat> Jack this up a bit. With a feeler gauge, you can feel what sure seems like a big screw right here. That's holding this whole side on. So I think we might cut that screw. And that will loosen up this whole side. And over here, there's probably the same thing. There's probably two big screws in there. We're going to jack that up and see where they are. And probably cut them and with those cut this whole front pin block should just pull up and hopefully this will slide off the plate off of these these are the problem and if we can do that then we can get at this pin block a lot easier Nine, 16, note 
16. That's note one, B1. To the top of the case, just for a rough reference. You see how high it pushes up. And over here, we'll do one here too, I guess. Probably be the same as that one over there. And it is. No, it isn't. It's lower. Of course it would be. What note is that? The fourth note on the tender bridge. Once we get this all, we can use our crown meter me machine. We got crown recording thing. Okay. I'm having a little trouble here. I'm going to try and keep this thing from bouncing off the sides of the case. Right here. And that's about what I'm going to do. Right here you go. Oh, that's getting out of the way to help. Yeah. yeah. Probably have to adjust these. Oh, yeah. Get that thing running? Yeah. Too high? So is it is it is it holding somewhere? We gotta push it down. Wait, so we've got some kind of hidden attachment somewhere? Could be. I think it's just the pine blocks wedged in. Hmm. I think so. down here yet so Right here. Right here. Well, we can't move the piano, we gotta move that. Mm -hmm. 